What is a patent and what are the requirements to obtain a patent? Hi and welcome back to the channel. Today let's talk about patents or patents as some people call it. What are they? What are the requirements you need to satisfy to obtain a valid patent? And what are the rights you have if you are the owner of a patent? If you are an inventor or involved in research and development in some capacity, this is absolutely an area you need to have some knowledge on. Let's get started. Let's start with the basics. What exactly is a patent? A patent is basically a legal document granted by the government to an inventor of an invention, giving him the exclusive right to make, use and sell his invention for a limited period of time. It's essentially a contract between the inventor and the government, granting them a monopoly over their invention in exchange for disclosing their creation to the public. Patents cover a wide range of inventions, including new technological developments, new manufacturing processes, pharmaceuticals, etc. It's basically a reward given to the inventor for all the effort and money that they put into research and development in developing this product or process. For example, the companies who developed the vaccines for COVID-19 during the pandemic would have spent millions of dollars developing the vaccine. So when they finally succeeded, the government provides the inventors a reward by giving them a monopoly to manufacture and market that product for a limited period of time. Now that you understand what a patent is, let's talk about the requirements that need to be satisfied in order for you to be granted a patent. Usually there are three main requirements that need to be satisfied in order for you to be granted a valid patent. These are novelty, inventive step and industrial application. The first requirement for a valid patent is novelty. In other words, your invention must be new. This means that this invention must not have been disclosed to the public before the application was filed. Even if you're the first person to invent something, but somebody else publishes that invention before you file your application, then your patent application might be rejected. To ensure that you satisfy this novelty requirement, it's important to carry out a thorough search of existing patents, scientific literature and other public documents to make sure that your invention is in fact novel. Failing to meet this requirement can result in your patent being rejected or invalidated. This is probably a good point to talk a little bit about the importance of keeping your invention confidential during the inventive process. If you have to get a third party involved in the development phase, you should probably get a non-disclosure agreement or a NDA signed. Say for example, you need to create a prototype for your invention and you need to retain an outside party to make this prototype, you should probably sign an NDA before you give them access to the invention. If you don't do this and the third party discloses this invention to the public before you file your patent application, your application will be rejected. The second requirement is inventive step or non-obviousness. This means that your invention in addition to being novel must not be obvious to a person skilled in the relevant field. In other words, it must involve an inventive step and must not be something like combining two existing technologies which might be obvious to a person skilled in the art. Going back to the example of the COVID-19 vaccines, if all the inventors did was use existing technologies in a slightly different way, which was obvious to people skilled in the art, then they will not be patentable because they lack an inventive step. In a case that I was involved in, a patent was granted to the use of twin spark plugs on a small combustion engine. Now using two spark plugs is very common in large combustion engines but had never been done in small combustion engines. So the patent was challenged on the basis that using two spark plugs in a small engine, although never done to this point, was obvious to a person skilled in the art. In this case, although the patent was new because combining of these two technologies had not been done before, it was challenged on the basis that there was no inventive step. Not having an inventive step could result in your patent application being rejected. Finally, we have industrial application or utility. This requirement simply means that your invention must have a practical use or utility. In other words, it must have a useful purpose 
and must be capable of being used and operated in industries. While the utility requirement is generally easy to satisfy for most inventions, it's important to provide sufficient evidence or documentation to demonstrate the practical usefulness of your invention. Without clear utility, your patent application could be rejected. So if you satisfy these three requirements, you are entitled to have your patent registered. The application for a patent must be filed at the patent office or the intellectual property office of that relevant country. Your patent application must contain a detailed description of how your invention works, including any drawings or diagrams necessary to illustrate its operation. One of the most important things that need to be submitted is the claims of your patent, which is effectively the exact novel aspects for which you are seeking a patent. Now, it's important to understand that a patent granted in one country will only give you protection in that particular country. For example, if I obtain a patent here in Sri Lanka, I can only stop another person from manufacturing and selling that product here in Sri Lanka. If I want to stop them from manufacturing or selling that product in India, I need to register my patent in India as well. Likewise, you will need to take your patent and register it in every country that you are seeking protection in. Now, let's say you've been granted a patent. What are the rights that you have as a patent holder? A patent holder is granted several rights protecting their invention, granting them the exclusive right to exploit their invention. These rights typically include the exclusive right to make, use, sell or import the patented invention for a limited period, which is generally 20 years from the filing date of the patent application. Which means that during this period, the patent holder can decide how the commercialization and exploitation of the invention is to happen. The flip side of this is that during the term of the patent, Others are prohibited from making, using, selling or importing the patented invention without the patent holder's permission. The patent holder also has the right to enforce their patent against anyone who infringes upon it through legal means such as litigation. Further, the patent holder can license their patent rights to others, allowing them to use the invention in exchange for royalties or other compensation. The patent holder can also sell or assign or transfer their patent to another person just like any other form of property. In summary, obtaining a valid patent requires you to satisfy several requirements including novelty, inventive step and industrial application. By understanding and satisfying these requirements, you can ensure that you protect your intellectual property and ensure that it gets the valid legal recognition that it deserves and ensure that you can commercially exploit your invention. Anyway, that's all for today. If you did like this episode, do consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. I'll see you in another episode. Take care. Bye.